Welcome to Unpack. This is kind of a, a throwback episode, like a classic unboxing. So what we have here is AMD's flagship processor. And you might be thinking, well, that's a very large box, Linus. Is this a processor for your car or something like that? And I guess you could install one in your car, but you probably wouldn't. But if you did, you would want to liquid cool it because that is the whole point of this gigantic box. So that it comes with a CPU and an entire water cooling unit inside. Now the FX9590 and its slower clocked younger brother, the FX9370, were released back in June 2013. Not exactly a spring chicken here. Back then, the only way to get one, though, was to buy a pre-built system through a retailer or system integrator such as NCIX. This was actually for a very good reason. This CPU right here, I'm gonna pull it out of the box, take there you go, CPU right there, is listed at a 220 watt TDP. This is typically much too high for most cooling setups. And AMD figured the only way to prevent customers from melting their processors, or even more likely than that, their motherboards, was to make sure the system builders picked appropriate cooling for them. Well. AMD eventually sold a normal retail version of the chip, except without a stock cooler, similar to the way Intel does on their enthusiast CPUs. And now, 12 months after that, fast forward to June 2014, and we've got this, bundling a flagship processor with liquid cooling right out of the box. So let's take a look at what is in the box. First thing is obviously the CPU itself. I kind of already talked about that. It's a pile driver architecture, AM3 plus socket processor with eight cores, each of them clocked at 4.7 gigahertz that will turbo all the way up to five gigahertz, which is where the rest of this comes in, right? So uh, this is actually a version of Cooler Master Sidon 120 liquid cooler. Pretty much the only difference between this package and what's in a retail side and is the exclusion of uh, mounting brackets for <coughs> AMD's competitors. <coughs> it does however also come with the usual, it does however come with AMD mounting hardware, so you've got a back plate and then mounting hardware, see, hold downs and whatnot here to go to FM2+, FM2, FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2, AM2+, pretty much any AMD socket that uses the four post mounting system that they introduced quite some time ago. So, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much all there is to say. It comes with two 120 millimeter fans, so you can go ahead and install either one of them or two in push-pull. Each of them comes with a rubber noise isolator, so the vibrations from the fans are not gonna be passed to your radiator, then to your case, then to your desk, and then to your floor, and then to your chair, so your whole room starts vibrating. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but it will make it operate a little bit quieter, and it does give the fan a nice seal against the radiator, so you're not wasting any of dim air flows. Pulling out the unit itself, we see we've got a moderately thick single 120 millimeter radiator with quarter inch tubing. This is that um, evaporation resistant tubing, so you should get a nice long life cycle, at least five years out of something like this before it would ever need to be refilled. Speaking of refilling, it comes pre-filled. You do not need to fill it out of the box. See, there's water inside. You, I hope you guys can hear that. The water block over here has a flat copper base and on the inside you've got micro channels which basically just creates turbulence in the water and increases the surface area of the block for more effective heat transfer and I guess that's uh, pretty much it. I mean I guess Consider though, this chip needs a motherboard with an appropriate power delivery system. Many of the boards out there are only built adequately for, well, the older FX8350, which is a much lower powered, but still eight core chip with a lower TDP at only 125 watts. So make sure you do your research before buying this. We've seen far too many dead boards with burnt out BRM. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below, what cooler do you use on your CPU? Do you use a cooler at all? Or do you live on the wild side in the sun? All right, anyway, so, sorry guys, like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.